hot and dusty road Tramps a soldier with his load Ten days leave he has to spend Will his journey never end? Marching home, marching on his way. Marching, marching all the day, soon he will be home to stay. Join the army. I've had me luck. Always on trek. Not a penny to bless. Ugh. Gosh, my kit's in a hell of a mess. Where's my St. Joseph's? He looks in his pack for a lucky medallion he has with the face of his namesake, St. Joseph, engraved on the back. Ah, good. There we are. He starts rummaging, brings up cartridges and then rummages on. Here's a mirror with most of the silvering gone. But where's her picture? That mustn't be missed. The picture his girlfriend gave him the day he went off to enlist. Oh, here it is. And right in the middle, he brings out an old brown fiddle. It didn't cost much. The tone's not rich. Mm. You have to keep screwing it up to pitch. <laughs>
No. Sell it then. <laughs> no. Well, give me this book for it then. Can't read. Makes no difference. There's no need. With this book, you don't have to read. It's more than a book. It's wealth untold. You've only to open it. Lo and behold, banknotes, bearer bonds, and gold. Well, I should want to have a look. Certainly, certainly. Here's a book. On site, collateral, note of hand. This book's not easy to understand. I can read it all right, but it's still Greek to me. You'll get the hang of it. Wait and see. But if it's worth all that money, miss, this little job, the old fiddle of mine only costs a few bucks. So you've a real bargain. Right then. It's a deal. <laughs> On site, collateral, note of hand, market quotations for Friday the 31st. What day's today? It's uh, Monday. It's Monday the 15th. What's this then? Here's a book that's ahead of the date. Strange sort of book. It tells you things before they happen. Come on with me now, what do you say? What? What's up? This thing won't play. You must teach me to make it go. Uh, I've only ten days leave, you know. I'll lend you my carriage and pair. If you walk, you'll be much more slow. Uh, mother will worry if I'm late. It's not the first time she's had to wait. My girlfriend's expecting me too. <laughs> You'll make it up to us soon. She'll be all the more pleased when you do. This place of yours, is it abroad? <laughs> Wise dies all found, full bed and board, home in a carriage, like a lord. Two or three days, a step out of your way, and then you'll be as rich as the king of Cathay. What sort of victuals down your way? Steak, egg and chips three times a day. And drink too. Champagne, was it? Smoking permitted. What do you say to Havana Havana cigars, eh? What do you say? Well, there you are then. Joseph goes off home with her and finds she's not a cheat. New clothes, soft beds and plenty to eat, yes. Joseph has properly done up a treat. And each shows the other as they undertook the way of the fiddle and the way of the book. Yes, the little maiden kept her word, two days well spent. And then came the third. That morning... The girl wakes Joseph as soon as it's light, and she says, are you ready? And Joseph says, right. Did you have a good night? Joseph says, yes. And the devil looks on as he gets up to dress. Have you any complaints? And Joseph says, no. Right you are, says she. Then off we go. They get into a carriage waiting below, and the devil says, hop, and off they go. Only Joseph, watching the horse's flying feet, finds himself holding on with both hands to his seat till his knuckles are white. And with all his might, hold tight, cries the maiden, hold on tight. Joseph would like to jump up and get out, but he hasn't a chance. Take care, cries the devil. See how my horses prance. They'll lead us a dance. They're taking the air. Take care. And the carriage is suddenly traveling up in the air, hurtling, rattling, rolling round the sky and Joseph's hair stand on end, and he nearly faints. Have you any complaints? Have you any complaints? Higher and higher over valley and hill, faster and faster, up and up they soar. Time had no meaning. The hours whizzed round. The coach stopped and backed and hovered and slid to the ground, and then disappeared with a silvery sound, leaving the soldier alone on the floor, and everything just as it had been before. Down a hot and dusty road tramps a soldier with his load. days leave he has to spend will his journey never end on his way.
marching, marching all the day. Soon he will be home to stay. Hooray! <laughs> Here we are. We're home at last. Oh, good morning, Mrs. Gray. She's in her garden. Hello there. How's the world with you? Oh, she doesn't hear me. Never mind. There's Arthur. Hey! Hey, Arthur! He's mowing the five-acre meadow, a good old friend and true. Huh? What's the matter? He doesn't reply. Arthur! Hi! Don't you know me? Why, it's Joseph. Joseph the soldier. Joe! You remember him. You know. The mower mows on. And on we go. Ah, oh, there's the school with the tower and the bell. Joseph, old Joe, you remember him well. And here's the mill and the inn. Now villagers everywhere. Men and women and children stand and stare. What's up with a lot of you? What's gotten into you all? Are you afraid of me or what? You know me. All of you there. It's Joseph. No one speaks. And then a door slams. And another slams. And more and more. And the rusty hinges shriek as every door slams shut. That's funny, he thinks. But mother will know. I'd better go. She sees him coming. She screams and runs away. So then he thinks, there, there, there's my fiancé. Married. With two children. Huh? Huh? Oh, the dirty cheat. The dirty, rotten cheat. I know who you are at last. I know what happened. I know you. I've taken my time about it too. It wasn't three days. Three years have passed. They all take me for a ghost. I'm dead among the living. Oh, the cheat. The dirty, rotten cheat. And like a fool, I went and listened to her. Yes, I know I was tired and hungry, but that's no reason to go listening to the likes of her. Do you take any notice of what people you don't know tell you? No, no, no. You say, I don't know you. But what did I do? I went and listened to her. Like a fool, I went and listened to her. I shouldn't have had my suspicions, but no, no, no. I had to listen to her. Like a fool, I had to... Oh, my God. And I gave her my fiddle. Of all the luck. And now what am I going to do? What am I going to do now? What am I going to do now?
you dirty cheat. It's you! Now what are you going to do? You dirty rotten cheat! Please be a little bit more discreet. Do try to behave. Do you hear me, you? Good. Now what are you going to do? <coughs> Have you forgotten all I said? The book I gave you, bound in red? Oh, it's um, somewhere in my kit. Then you've got all you need if you've still got it. In art to a soldier, be one then. Show the ladies and gentlemen. On guard, attention. Break ranks and stow your kit. On guard, platoon, at the run. At ease, stand easy. Attention, platoon, off caps. Here, take this one of mine. Hmm, not bad, suits you fine. Now then, take off your tunic and unbutton the throat. Don't fall out, we'll find you a coat. Don't fall out, we've hardly begun. You're not finished yet, the tension. The book. The book. Now, what have you done? You told me. Right then, fetch it! <coughs> no, only the book! Now back here again! <gasps> Be careful! Don't let it come to harm. Lose it like that. Keep it under your arm. That book's worth a fortune. A fortune, do you see? Hold on to it tight. Now, listen to me. This is mine here. That's yours there. Each to his own, and so all square. began to read, and the words meant money, more money, and still more money, as much as a man could need. He used it first to set right his affairs, and then became a peddler, a seller of wares. Come along, ladies, come by, for there's all shames and sizes. Black, navy, pale blue, Prussian blue, pastel, sky blue, beige, chocolate, fawn, dark grey, grey grey, pale grey, silver grey, russet, ebony, maroon, brown, khaki, Unbleached linen by the odd, printed cotton, scrap the sheen, silks and satins at a pre crisis prices. A peddler first, a seller of wares for a start. Well, then he needed no goods, he knew all the tricks by heart. Things go the way I make them go, for others only guess, I know. It's more than a book, it's wealth untold. You've only to open it, lo and behold, you can have all you want, your heart's desire, all the best things in life, anything you require. While you have time, quick, grab all you can. One day you'll be dead, you're only a man. No, my old friend, you didn't lie, because in the end, we've all got to die. First one thing, another, I've only to say, this, that, and the other, because I can pay. It's mine. All, all, nothing, all nothing, nothing at all. <laughs> what have I said? What's the matter with me? I have everything, nothing. Now I can see. All you want. All the time, all that wealth can provide, and they don't mean a thing, they are empty inside. False things. Dead, rotten, you buy and you sell, they are nothing. Just an empty shell. Oh, still to have the things you had before. The real, the true. 
good things that everybody has but to you that you have no more. The only things worth having. Just to stretch out on the grass as you used to do. Good to touch, good to feel. Things that cost nothing, that everyone has, that mean so much. These things are real. Things that belong to all the world but you. Saturday evening, weekend plans. Watching the village at work in its garden. So many people with watering cans. And the little girls playing Tom Tiddler's ground. You smile as you pass along the sun-baked wall. You settle down on the grass and someone fills your glass. Things that are warm inside. The only ones worth having. They have nothing. And yet they have it all. And I who have everything, I have nothing. 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 How can that be? Satan, Satan, you've cheated me. Oh, what can I do? Does it say in the book? He snatches it up and starts to look. You must know. Ah, oh, you must know. Tell me how everyone, how all the rest are happy. How is it done? You must know, you must know, you must tell me, explain. What can I do to have nothing again? Hello? Hello? Hello, uh, sir, with regard to your current account, sir. Later. Later, I tell you later. The book must know the secret. Then answer me. What can I do to be as I used to be? I am rich. Unbelievably rich. But all I'd give to be alive again, as others live. I am a ghost among the living. Now, what do you want? <coughs> I'll explain, sir. It's this. I have a bag just outside full of rare, precious things. No, I've been... Oh, sir, the British shake. Here, take this. Sir, nothing for nothing is the rule. Each has his little job to do. My bag is just outside, <coughs> sir. If you allow me, please let me go and bring it in to you. <laughs> now, look at Lovely things, sir. Mm. Watches, necklaces, and rings. Oh. And some lace, sir. No? Well, don't be afraid, sir, to say so. It's true, of course, you haven't a wife. Each has his little job in life. A lucky medallion engraved on the back. No? No, every time. Now, what do you lack?
about his load. Someone trudging on and on. Many, many miles he's gone. Over hill and dale he goes. Where's he heading? No one knows. He doesn't know himself. He only knows he must get out, go somewhere else, because he can't go on the way he was. Nothing remains of all his fine belongings. He's thrown them out without a word to anyone. He's run away. And things are just the way they were, except he has a lighter pack to bear. Is he taking the homeward road, the road he took before? Home? No. It's not his anymore. Now he goes the other way. Cannot stay. On his way, on his way, marches on all day. Now he comes to another land, a village on the frontier and an inn. He thinks, shall I cross over? He thinks, why not? He goes to the inn, orders a tot, drinks it down. Yes, and now what? Then he begins to look around. He gazes at the muslin curtains bound with silk cord. Fine white muslin, scarlet cord. Such fine white muslin curtains pinned around the leaded window panes where leaves stir in the wind. Huh? What's this? Suddenly the world outside comes crashing in. Somebody starts to beat a drum. And someone beats a drum because the princess of the realm, the only daughter of the king, lies ill in bed. She neither sleeps, nor speaks, nor eats, nor anything. And the king proclaims to the sound of the drum that whatsoever man shall come and raise my daughter from her bed, that man the fair princess shall wed. Just at that moment, a man comes up and says to Joseph, Hello, old chum. We've not been introduced, it's true, but... Well, I've been a soldier too. Old oh, comrades don't mind if you make yourself known. But when I saw you come in and you were all alone, I said to myself, go and have a word with him. He looks down, I said. You can see at a glance. What about it? Go on over. This may be his big chance. A lovely young girl, eh? A princess too. You know what? I'd say this was made for you. I'm married already. My worst luck. It's no use to me. But you, my lad, you're young, you're free. Doctoring, well, that's whatever you choose. Besides, you've got nothing to lose by trying. You go, you say, I'm an MO. She's kid, she's not, she's worth a shot. Why not? After all, why not? Goodbye, old chap, many thanks for the tip. He's up and he's out of it quick as a whip. He's up, he's off and makes his way to the palace gates. He gives a ring. Bong. Who are you? The sentries say. Who am I? I'm going to see the king.
So far, so good. Just think, a girl to call my own after so many years alone. Why not? Why shouldn't the luck be mine? Ask the cards. What do you say? Six of hearts. Ten of hearts. Queen of hearts, nothing but hearts. Trumps all the way. It's true. Why not? Why shouldn't the luck be mine? I have a wife of my own. Only for me. And what's more, <laughs> a princess too. Someone's here ahead of you. You were silly to be upset. You were rich and esteemed. You get a sudden whim and you don't count the cost. And now, my poor little friend, you're lost. Six of hearts, ten of hearts. Hands all the way! You said to yourself, it's my lucky day! <laughs> well, do you still believe it's true? I have my method, I, not you! It's true what she says. She's got me for sure. She'll do the trick, she's got the cure. I have nothing. Nothing at all once more. Go for her just the same. Knock her down, bang her head on the floor. <sighs> she's not mad. I can do nothing more. You can, I tell you. You can. Don't you see how it is? She's got you here because of the money. You still have money of hers. Get rid of that and you're saved. Go on. Begin. Offer to play her at cards. She's sure to win. Will you play a game? I have money. What? I don't understand. I said, will you play a game? My dear young friend, I'm always ready for a hand. She'll win. She always likes to win. You'll lose and she'll be lost. Now, begin. Notes, gold and silver. All in. Good. How much a point? Five gold coins. Twenty. No less. <laughs> Just as you wish, but best take care. No more fiddle. No more book. Take this. 
This will do you good. Yes. Go on, have a drink. Say when. And here's a help to you. And again. Princess, now we can safely say he who will cure you is on his way. Soon now he's going to come to you because he's got nothing he can't do. Soon now he'll be outside your door because he's found himself once more. Soon now he'll come to claim his wife because he's been brought back to life. He's going to bring you back to life.
Must not seek to add to what you have what you once had. You have no right to share what you are with what you were.
No one can have it all. That is forbidden. You must learn to choose between. One happy thing is every happy thing, but two is as if they'd never been. I have everything, he thinks. I always will have everything, he thinks. But one day, she, she says, I know so little about you still. Tell me about yourself. Come on, tell me. Well, it all started a long, long time ago. There's a cottage I used to share with my mother. I was a soldier then, you know, far, far away. I've almost forgotten where. Suppose, suppose we went there. No, it's forbidden. Suppose we go. We'd be back before we were missed. No one would ever know. She looks at him and smiles and says, You want to. I can see you do. It isn't much to ask of you. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Why not? You want to. I can see you do. He says, Come over here to me. Not until you say yes. So then he thinks... If we did go, perhaps this time my mother will know me. Why not? Just to pay a call and she could come and live with us. Then, then I should really have it all. They're on their way. They're nearly there. A scent he knows hangs in the air. He's gone on ahead to find the frontier. She's a little way behind. He calls her. He turns back and then changes his mind. 